experience of the best in gospel music, featuring groups and there we go. from across the art Now, here is your host, Ernie Nile. Good morning and thanks for joining us on this 1,561st show. We're glad you joined us and giving God Praise Fellowship Choir of Jonesville give you praise. Most of my viewers like traditional gospel. Yeah. Including myself. Yeah. I do too. See, when you get too fancy with it, it kind of leaves out the religious part of it, in my opinion. You understand? Yeah, we, we watched the Henry Miles show every Sunday. I mean, that's what we did. Everybody got up and watched the Henry Miles show on Sunday to see all the singing groups. And Sunday morning, it was a must. We had to be up to watch Ernie Miles. And if you wasn't up, somebody's gonna wake you up. On Sundays, I mean, that's what we look, that's what more people look forward to. Hey man, you know, I love it, I enjoy it. That's, that's my Sunday, they get me rolling. Uh, I remember waking up many mornings to the Ernie Miles anthem. You know, when it first come on, this song, you know, Lord, I know you heard my cry. You know, and, and every time I hear that song, even now, it brings back memories for me. And the gospel music around us has paved the way for a lot of the gospel artists around here that's, that, that have been very successful in the music business. Ernie Miles is, is, man, he's the Don Cornelius of gospel to me. You know, that's just the way I can describe him. You are a, if you're a person in television or media, uh, you're African American, then you owe credit. A lot of credit goes out to to uh, Journey Miles. Journey Miles has paved the way for a lot of uh, people that you see on TV today. I love him, and I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, I get the opportunity to always go to him for advice, and he always gives me words of wisdom. And I just think that he's paved the way for so many people here, especially for a person like myself. I couldn't ask for a better role model. You know what, I've been here for a short time and I met Mr. Miles, you know, I meet him very briefly in the morning when he comes in to record the shows and everything and his, his mannerism is the same every time. I have long admired Mr. Ernie Miles and I think he's uh, an excellent broadcaster and I admire his work. He just told me about his history here and some of the stories that he's gone out on and um, some of the obstacles that he faced back during those times. And that's what really made me realize, you know, hey, if he can do this, I can do it too. Consistent, you know, genuine, um, kind, soft-spoken, <laughs> and straight to the point, you know. And, and you can't go wrong with a person like that, you know. I actually met him when I first got here. Let me see. I got here in July 2006, and I met him then. And um, we sat down and we talked. He would come up here mostly on Saturday mornings and we would talk a lot, and that would always start off my weekend. There's a lot of different sides of Ernie Mile that people don't know about. Ernie Mile was, was is a, it, it, a lot of people don't know Ernie Mile is an activist. I mean, the, the, the community work he does in the community, people. Uh, yeah, yeah, out of every 100 teachers, Ninety, ninety-two are white, only eight are black. So the black teachers are leaving the scene. He's also uh, did work. He does work with the NAACP. He was on the docket to get rid of, and I showed up, and the president of the NAACP, Chisney, showed up. What you down here to do a story? No, no, we just down here looking over things. You know? They didn't bring it up. He's also a teacher. Because I taught school in Winfield. They hated my guts. Because <laughs> cause they thought I was a, a good teacher. They don't like me to be good like that. For some reason or another, I, I like for people to be good myself. But they don't like that. I mean, Ernie Miles, most people know Ernie Miles from his television show, and they see him every day and they see him on the show every day and they respect him as that. Life and gospel is a big part of me, so of course Ernie Miles is gonna play a big part. But I respect him as the pearl on the personal on the personal level. That's why I'm doing this film because I want to reveal that side of Ernie Miles to the public and let people know this man, the great achievement that he that he have achieved. So he's awesome.